morning. It's uh, cold, as usual, and there ain't much I can do about it, but I can't work on the hot rods today. I got a day off, even though I didn't want one. And that's because the rear end of this W900 behind me, my truck, decided to exit the building. What that means is the pinion actual shaft shattered. Didn't give me any warning, just went blah, 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 boom, and broke, and I was done. Now, to get home, I had to be towed, which is, <laughs> let's just say that's the most expensive Uber ride I've ever taken in my life. But uh, I could have, and I got people in the comments in my last video, I could have taken the front of that shaft off, off that front differential on the back side, taken it off, and drove it. The problem is, I'm big. The suspension on this would not allow me to get underneath. I need to jack it up to be able to get underneath to get to that. Uh, so, I had to have her towed home. So, unlike other YouTubers I've seen, I've never seen any. Not only am I trying to maintain all of my hot rods, they're sitting to the side of you, you can't see them. I gotta maintain my work. And the soonest they could get me in is in a week. Let me give you an average. On a daily basis that these wheels are not turning. For me, it's different for everyone. For me, it's roughly thirteen to $1,400 a day for these wheels to not spin. So add that up and add five or seven days on that. Yeah, that's why we're doing this. So why not film it, right? It's gonna take me a little longer to film it. What I'm gonna be doing, we're gonna be tearing that rear end differential out of that rear pumpkin on this truck. And then we're gonna throw it in the Ranchero. We're gonna drive 70 miles east to a salvage yard for semis that has four of the differentials that I need and swap them out. Then we're gonna come home, we're gonna put that thing back in and I want this truck ready to roll by tomorrow afternoon. Why would it take me that long? Because it's cold and I haven't done one in a while. So, but this is gonna save me about roughly $3,000 to do it myself. That gives you an idea. So let's get to it. Hey. Gonna be a lot of air tools today, y'all. First thing I gotta do is there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get this differential out of here through the bottom. So it has to come through the top with my cherry picker. And in order for me to do that, I'm gonna have to take these here torsion bars off of this rear end. And then I'm going to have to get in there with the cherry picker, unbolt that thing, and I'm going to have to lift it up out of the truck. Okay? I got sun in my eyes, can't see nothing. And yes, that is an Ingersoll Rand heavy duty, I think it's what, 2131? Can't remember. With the chrome socket. Because I can't find my, my good ones. I might have to get this freaking heat out on this. can't believe it. Oh, look, when they changed it, they put the anti-seas on it. Oh, bless the heart. That's awesome. Oh, I forgot. Yep, those have a lock net on them. I'll be right back. Sucks. Well, you can come out whenever you want. Son of a bitch. And I've tried everything. I've 
begged, pleaded, warned. Now I'm through talking. Told you you gonna listen. I said, you're coming out. And I meant it. There we go. Take that. Go ahead, smoke. I don't care. Yeehaw. All righty. Now we're wide open. Oh, no fires, no fires. See all these airlines and shit. You gotta be careful. All right. So none of these want to come out. Cleaned up the top one. I'm trying to get loose. Only one come loose. Go figure. So I don't want a torch on this. So break over bar and my just ease it off. Like, come on now. We'll talk nice to it. So see if this works. Oh yeah. She was trying to. Oh, yeah. That was loose. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah. That probably won't work on the bottom. Uh -huh. One bolt. Uh, uh, uh. Two bolts. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, I'll watch Sesame Street, you kid. Oh boy, yeah. That stank. That is rear end grease. And that is stanky. So I got the top bolts out. What it is, is I'll bring in here. There's two studs right here that have nuts on them and a lock washer. And that one's lock washer is stuck on it. We'll fix that. But. Those are on there for a reason. Those are so when you get them all off, you can slide it forward on those studs, and then I'm gonna have to make me a little, I got some steel in there I'll cut, make me a little spot with a little hole in her, so we can hook a chain to it on a couple spots and lift her out with the chair turn. My God, Grease, Amber's gonna kill me. Good thing I bought a new washer. All right. Guess I never have really brought you in. Here I got all these bolts out and these are your studs. And this whole thing, once I get that bottom loose, this will slide forward and then I can get bolts through there on something to hook loister out of the out of the housing. But yeah, so you can see right there is where the yoke was supposed to be. And if you look down there, upside down, right here, that is the end of the pinion that snapped off so i'll try to get a better look at that later but yeah that's bad all right let me try to get them bottom ones let's see if i can get these loose somehow i doubt it. that one come right out all righty then so did that one well, i guess that would make sense they got goddamn please don't leak all over. oh you are gonna leak all over me damn it one more. Oh, let's see if we can't get the axles out. Now somebody had RTV'd this. Anyway. Ugh. Oh yeah. Everything looks good. There's one. Ooh. Yeah. Those are just RTV'd. It's the way it was with this truck. 
I bought this thing and it was all brand new motor, everything's in it, and the motor lasted six months and blew up on me. $30,000. Whew, she stink. Don't see no metal. That's good. Yeah, that one's good too. Yeehaw. Rags and bags. All right. Now let's see if we can get that pumpkin loose, huh? A couple. Come on now. Mother. There we go. Just like that. Bingo. This thing is heavy as hell. The thing is, we don't want it to fall. So... We take the wrench. I'm going to put that sucker in there. Like that. Now, I can get you in here if you want, but I'm just going to let that sit for a second because what I got to do is I have to make me something or find something in my garage big enough holes in bolts so I can get two chains right there and we'll just pick this thing up we'll have to turn it sideways more than likely and then i'll just yank her out of there <sighs> boy that that's 10 times worse than a car differential god that stinks smells like money and i shouldn't be doing this yep that's my finger that's fine surely a grade three bend bolt will hold it, right? You know, you usually do it this way. Usually I like to have a plate. But, I don't have one and I don't feel like drilling nothing. Oh. Get in there. Right here. Face killer. long chain shortened guess we'll find out if our bolts will hold huh i need to hurry up and get that damn cherry picker over here because that'll be fun oh yeah perfect Try this, eh? Need this. And she's off. She's out. out. She's free. She's free. Well, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. Chain's holding good. Well, 
Ooh. Oh, bearing seized up. What happened? Yeah, I couldn't have drove that home. That one locked up. So there. If I would have tried to do what I'd normally do when a rear end goes out, this would have locked up eventually and skidded the tires and probably caused a bad accident. So definitely a good idea to wait on the thousand dollar Uber ride. I'm back. I had to run to town because I need to get this yoke off of here before I do anything because I want to make sure that yoke is okay. I think it's okay, but thinking and knowing are a huge difference. So called a couple shops, said, hey, can I borrow one of them uh, Tiger Tool things that pop the U-joints off? They weren't having it because I didn't bring my truck to their shop. They all know who I am and again, Outlaw Garage. I've done this stuff for people. I used to have one of these tools and I sold it, but it takes a big one. It's basically, it's a U-joint press for a semi and uh, they work really good. And I called a buddy of mine who works in the shop and his buddy that works with him had one and they borrowed it to me again. It's like I said in the transmission video, it always helps to know a guy, right? This is knowing a guy. These things brand new are about 300 bucks, 250 bucks, and I don't have one. Used to, but I'll borrow. So let's get after it. Okay, got one cap off. Let me get this one off and then I'll show you how I did it whenever I get to take the the oak out. Oh yeah. There. I think our yoke is garbage. Well. Really? There we go. Nope, she jumped. Pretty sure she junk. So I'm not even gonna bother taking that out of there. Ooh. Yep, garbage. Junk. So that's alright. One more thing, I guess. It's just how it goes, man. Pop this off. See where we're at. If I can get on it. I did with my what you call it, but this who was a mud, this will work. Come on. Boom. And that's all. Inner bearing, which is toast. This is what went bad. There. That is one heavily melted bearing those things won't even come out of there see that it was basically on fire and it didn't tell me a thing that's how it goes man that bearing's roasted too there's a little bit left of it but she's toast Woo! check that out <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we need to count these so I can get on my way, get this thing figured out. So after counting all my ring teeth and all my pinion teeth, you divide the ring teeth by the pinion teeth. 390. It's exactly what they said it was. So alrighty then. Time to hunt down the part.
So I went ahead and got that other one out of here. Uh, I was in a hurry, so I didn't film it because I am in a damn hurry. Because minutes is money here, folks. This yoke <clears throat> is, in fact, garbage. You can see right there that little spot where it's just rubbed through and it's not it's not circular anymore. It's like flattish, kind of. Yeah, it's junk. So I'm gonna need one of them too. So. I need to get everything together. I need to get this damn thing in the back of Blanche and we gotta hit the road, man. We know our gear ratio, we know our rear end. Let's take a trip. I got a call. Make sure they got one. Pretty sure they got one, but uh, Indiana's an hour ahead, I forgot. So it's four o'clock there now. I won't make it. So this is gonna be a in the morning, not in the evening. And we'll have fun. See you tomorrow. Well, it's roughly about 73 miles where we're going. We need to go get a rear end for this here truck. And I got her loaded up in branch. That's right. We're taking 76 Ford Ranchero, 70 some whatever miles to Terre Haute, Indiana. Go get us a new rear end for our truck. All right, let's get it. So normally, Blanche is just my everyday driver. But today, she's a shop truck. It's a truck, car, it's whatever you want at the time that it's available. Let's go.
hey not bad first you know high speed for blanche bill 400 just run and run i didn't have any problems with it at all but uh i'm over here at russ fisher truck parts Terre Haute, indiana ish so i think it's out actually outside of Terre Haute, but close enough i gotta get my rear end uh swapped everybody should get the rear end swapped once in a while but uh i'm gonna get all that done and i'll get back with you when we're on our way back because i don't want to deal with all that i just want to get in here and get out get back and get my truck back on the road time is money y'all see you in a bit walking around the semi junkyard i actually recorded a whole thing and my dumb ass with my new fancy camera, forgot to take the lens cap off. I'm just filming. Yep, I'm that dumb. Anyway, there's a there's a lot here, but looks like the only thing they got that I'm needing is up front. I don't see anything. I think that there's a Kenworth too. I think. I don't know. Can I get back there? Yo. You gotta watch your step. Everything can hurt you. Literally everything can hurt you. Yeah, that's a Pete. That's a Pete. That is a Pete. These are all Pete's. Yep, all Peter cars. Oh, it's a nice looking exhaust. Anyway, let's, uh, I guess we're as far as we can go. As far as stuff for me, we'll just get on out of here. Yeah, that's kind of sort of what a semi junkyard looks like. It's a lot of acreage of junk trucks and Pete 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 everything's Pete of course I got the Kenworth it's the weirdo <sighs> Alrighty. so all in all I went through the whole place found a few little things from my Kenworth mostly just little fiddly stuff they didn't even charge me for but total with the rear end, they only charged me $350. A new yoke, $50. And a new seal. They actually had a seal, that way I didn't have to mess with it. Um, they took it, put the seal in for me, and it was a $32 seal. So all in all, $462.78. Ladies and gentlemen, that's DYI in the best possible way because if I'd have brought this to a shop, you're talking three to four thousand dollars. Let's go. Home.
Easy, Illinois. If you guys on Power Tour a couple years ago would recognize all this. There's that world's largest rocking chair, world's largest chime. There's all kinds of world's largest everything here for some reason. Ruler, world's largest ruler. So, this here is a covered bridge that, you know, had fallen to waste and the society got together in Illinois, Preservation Society, something, something. But I will actually watch them build this. And this bridge is so strong that before they had put the top on it, you know, most of the structure was there. I watched them drive the excavators and track hose and right back across that thing it is tough so yeah pretty neat it is a neat little thing but you know just let blanche run things developed a, a trans leak while it's in park so i need to figure that part out it's kind of dark in here but i can give you an idea look at the structure on this thing it is wild There ain't nobody coming, nobody comes this way usually. But yeah. While we're on our adventures, I thought, why not? All right, let's get her home. Finally, home. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this one. I uh, Maybe the next video we'll be putting this thing back in. I appreciate you watching. By the way, while I was on the way home, I got a call that my pistons were done. So I grabbed them two pistons for the 74 Javelin 304. So anyway, I'll see you on the next one.